we will need this uh, library a little bit later not anymore so this is our network builder and this is where we created our first uh, network for the uh, regular fully connected neuron let's create another file where we will name it my first image classifier so what we will do here we remove this from network builder m import network builder okay so uh, what you see here is the network builder uh, file or the library and inside this file we have a network builder class so from this file we want to import this in a class so that's why we wrote it like this and we will also need the uh, data set generator from data set generator import laser generator so now we have those two libraries that we need to create our network let's start creating the network uh, uh, other than that we also need import tensorflow as df and i don't think anything else we will require for this now hmm, let's create our input layer so for our input layer uh, okay so the images that we are going to feed to our neuron uh, we have to decide the uh, resolution of the images higher the resolution okay so the higher the resolution the more uh, uh, processor power we need to train and uh, to use the network so that means if the image is big we need more number of neurons to store each and every pixels uh, of the image if the image is small so there are less uh, pixels so less neurons are needed for our processing doesn't matter whatever the size is we have every images has to be a fixed size so our uh, our data set generator already is giving you the uh, giving you the input images as a square image and doesn't matter what the input uh, whatever the image in the data uh, data set folder is it will automatically resize it and put it in a size that we want so we have to decide the size here so let's start with with tf dot name uh, name scope there's something wrong yeah or what so let me put it somewhere here okay so uh, we have to create our uh, input uh, uh, layer so for that we will create with the scope uh, tf dot name scope as scope where we will put the uh, input sorry it is input where or I have to give input is a uh, inbuilt keyword so I have to keep I as a capital equals tf dot uh, placeholder and here I have to provide the data type and the shape so the data type will be um, float and the shape is that will be the resolution of the image and the channel of the image so first one will be the first one is the batch dimension which we want to put as a none then then the resolution which is we let's say we for the sake of this tutorial we will take it as a 128 into 128 and the channel let's work with the grayscale image because the more channel means more um, pixel and uh, if we if we have a colored image that will have three channels oh, and we have a, if we have a grayscale image then we'll have only one channel so we'll put uh, one uh, so it will be easier for us to train in this computer and let's we have to make it a shape equals this and let's name it name equals in 
with the quotation mark input uh, input so we have our input let's have our output as well or target as well not the output so that will be df frame scope by scope uh, make it a target and target we will use the badge dimension as it is but uh, in the end of the network we will only have two uh, um, uh, output neuron one will uh, identify if it's a cat other will identify if it's a dog so th if uh, this one let's say this one fi if this one fires we'll think of uh, we'll consider this as a cat if this one fires then we'll consider this as a dog so what we will need we need only two uh, neuron for our output so it will be only one dimension and that's it. Uh, the name let's put it as target uh, okay sorry one name scope here we have to put the name scope I forgot about that uh, input input layer uh, input a target layer target layer and we have our input and target now we have to create our uh, network in between to create the in uh, middle layers what we have to do we have to create a uh, we will use our network builder class so let's create our network builder class let's name it nb equals network builder uh, and now we have our network builder instance we will create our network builder uh, we'll create our network builder. now we will create our network so to create our network let's uh, put it inside a namespace for the convenience of the tensor board namespace name scope uh, will it is uh, my awesome model as scope now inside this we'll uh, add our layers so um, let's call it model equals for the first layer of the network the in, uh, input will be the input layer so we will need nb dot attach a conv layer and we have to provide what we have to provide we have to provide the input layer which is in this case the actual input input now now we want to provide what is the size of the output means how many uh, features that we want to extract from this input uh, from this image so let's say we want to uh, extract 32 uh, uh, features now the feature size let's uh, key, keep this feature size as uh, 5 cross 5 or uh, the default you can see here is 5 cross uh, 5 cross 5 which is the kernel size you can change it or uh, if, if you want you can make uh, keep it same and the summary let's hmm. there has to be a folder called su and ry equals true so what will happen uh, if we set the summary equals true then it will uh, put it in a tensor board otherwise it will not put uh, put it in the scope so that it will be easier for us to understand in the tensor uh, you know what the better will be if we uh, name the input layer in the model first model equals input then what will happen what we will only copy the model inside the input and so the first layer of the model is the input so it will be input uh, model is equals to input for the next layer uh, model is equals to uh, model and where uh, a convolution layer is attached to this model and whatever the output is we are storing it in the model so this is the net next layer so we can now just copy this this is the second layer of convolution layer attached to this model it's a tongue twister 
so let's have a third and we need any more let's keep it in a two layer of convolution and then we'll add a pooling layer equals nb dot pooling attach pooling layer and the input layer will be again model and I want the rest of the rest of the things as it is and just want to keep the summary not required so this is it now I just want to copy this thing and paste it like this so this is the second set of uh, convolution and pulling and this is the third set of what I will do here I will change this number of features let's keep it 64 so what will happen this will uh, try to extract features from the in input image and the second layer will try to extract 32 more feature of that from that features so it will be feature of feature after we pull it we'll have from those feature of feature we want to extract 64 more fe uh, features and uh, on top of that again 64 more features of, of those features and uh, at the end we'll have another pooling and let's have 128 features this time so what will happen as we attach pooling the image size will shrink but number of features will increase so you can think of that the dimensionality is that in the channel in the channel will increase uh, whereas the uh, images itself is going to uh, become smaller so at at some time the images will be very small but the number of features will uh, in the channel direction the featured uh, in features will increase the actually the intention so each and every feature will represents let's say face nose of the dog or eyes of the dog or whatever uh, interesting which uh, our network uh, found that is uh, unique and from those uh, cats and dogs so let's say for okay you uh, you get it so we have this so uh, I think for now the uh, these many convolution layers are enough